You need to see this video if you have been losing hair on your head or eyelashes and you don't know if it's normal or not. I'm Dr. Abby Waldman. I'm a dermatologist and I want to talk about the different phases of the hair cycle, which applies to pretty much every hair on your body, the head, the eyelashes, the eyebrows. So there are three phases. The first is antigen. Antigen is the growth phase and how long your hair is, is going to be dependent on how long the antigen phase is. So for all uh, the hair on the head, it can be up to six years. Probably my hair has been growing for about six years. However, the hair on your eyelashes is only gonna be one to two months. And that's why you don't see people with like eyelashes that go down to their bottom. Everyone's antigen phase is a little bit different and there are things that you can do to make it longer. So for eyelash serums, a common ingredient is prostaglandin analogs, and those stimulate a receptor on the eyelash during antigen phase, and it keeps the eyelash in antigen phase. So it makes it longer. Now, that doesn't mean it's gonna be an antigen phase forever. And so there's a normal rate of loss of your eyelashes and your hair. So the next phase is catagen. On the eyelashes, that's only about two weeks, same with the head. And then it goes into the telogen phase. And the telogen phase is the resting phase. Once it's complete with the resting phase, they're gonna fall out and that's gonna happen normally. So on the head, it is normal to lose 100 hairs a day. And eyelashes is usually about one to five a day is completely normal. So if you rub your eyes and you know, you see one on your hand, not anything to worry about. If it's a lot and you're noticing actual little patchy spots, then that can be abnormal. Same with the head. If you're noticing more than a hundred hairs a day, then it can be abnormal. So while prostaglandin analogs can help the eyelashes grow longer, they can also have some side effects. It is normally uh, a drug that is used for glaucoma treatment. And so it's pretty well studied and notable that prostaglandin analogs can cause a lot of irritation around the eyes, redness, discoloration. They can actually change the color of your eyes, believe it or not. And they can cause something called fat atrophy, which is just an area of sunken fat underneath your eyes and around your eyes. Eyelash serums that don't contain prostaglandin analogs typically work by adding peptides or vitamins that can support the eyelash follicle in antigen phase and allow it to continue to grow and not break. And honestly, breakage of the um, eyelashes and the hair is from everything we're putting on our eyelashes and our hair, from mascara to uh, dyeing hair, to you know even using different products and heat, as well as UV damage. And so oftentimes the peptides and vitamins in these